I think it's pretty safe to say that when we examine the Skywalker saga, a lot of fans had a lot of issues with exactly how Luke Skywalker was used by Disney, Lucasfilm, Kathleen Kennedy, Ryan Johnson in the sequel trilogy, and were very upset with how the sequel trilogy was handled. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one of the big plans by Disney and Lucasfilm is that they are currently developing a brand new Star Wars universe. This is, of course, going to have everything to do with new Star Wars TV shows, both in live action and animated form, new comics, books, novels, video games, so on and so forth, new movies that's going to release throughout this entire decade of the 2020s. Now, when we look at the character of Luke, especially in The Last Jedi, I myself, too, had a big problem with exactly how Ryan Johnson wrote that character. Mark Hamill even agreed that he had issues and how he disagreed with how Ryan was portraying that character. So, there was a great divide between the Star Wars community ever since the release of Episode 8. A lot of fans had issues with it, a lot of fans did not like how Luke was portrayed, and obviously now with The Rise of Skywalker just hitting 1 billion at the box office and not really inching towards 1.3 billion, which is the exact amount that The Last Jedi made, worldwide speaking, at the box office, it seems like that this movie is going to be the lowest earned Star Wars film, at least in the sequel trilogy era. Now, on top of all of this, when we look at Disney and Lucasfilm, they do have a big plan in place for creators like Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau, you name it. Now that The Rise of Skywalker is out in theaters, both Disney and Lucasfilm are currently very busy with their new Star Wars universe, also known as their new Expanded Universe, that will bring the fans into a brand new mythology of Star Wars, as well as new stories of some familiar characters. Now, it's noted that now one of the big plans by Disney and Lucasfilm for their Star Wars reset is that they are allowing both Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau to have a big say in the matter of how all future Star Wars projects and canon material moving forward for this new EU of Star Wars. One of the big decisions has to do with the characters of Luke Skywalker and that director and creator Dave Filoni was said to be the one who came up with the concept of introducing a young Luke Skywalker into The Mandalorian Season 2 in some way, shape, or form to show the fans just how powerful Luke Skywalker could be in his later years after the events of Return of the Jedi. This is said to be an attempt by Dave to fix the character of Luke and that also Dave Filoni is approving certain canon material to be established that would retell elements of Luke's life in The Last Jedi that will be retold for their new Star Wars universe. Now, it's noted that Dave wants to make Luke as powerful as he was in the old EU as part of making Luke Skywalker a more satisfying character for fans who love the Star Wars lore, and that it's Filoni who will be introducing many elements of Star Wars Legends into the Disney canon as accurate as possible for the Star Wars fans to enjoy. This comes just after the box office results for Episode 9 and how Bob Iger wants to bring Star Wars in a different direction that will cater more to beloved Star Wars fans who embrace the lore. So, obviously we can see that Disney and Lucasfilm, they are really trying their very best to satisfy many of the fans that they lost from The Last Jedi, and those who really had some issues with The Rise of Skywalker regardless. Now, when we look at Episode 9, obviously they attempted to fix elements of Luke. We could see that there was a prime example of that by J.J., but it wasn't quite enough for fans because, well, Luke was just a force ghost at the end of the day, right? So... The one thing that obviously Dave Filoni is good at is of course introducing Star Wars Legends and not just that, respecting its core characters. It's one of the main reasons as to why I love Dave Filoni. It's one of the bigger reasons as to why I love The Clone Wars, why I love Anakin in that series, why I love Kenobi in that series. And let's not forget about characters like Palpatine, Maul, and more. Now, when we think about this, the fact that Dave Filoni is going to have a bigger say in the matter of how canon material will be used and how he is the one who came up with the concept of a young Luke Skywalker returning in The Mandalorian Season 2 in some way, shape, or form to show us exactly how powerful Luke can really be. I don't know if you guys heard, but there is a big plan to introduce many Skywalker Saga-oriented characters in The Mandalorian Season 2 as a way to really kind of make things a little bit more attractive with the Mandalorian TV show for Disney+. Plus. So, the fact that they're doing all of this, it just shows us, the fans, that even though if it is a desperate attempt by Disney, they are at the very least trying to do something in order to satisfy the hardcore fans. And to me, 
I think it shows us that Disney uh, actually realizes, you know, the Star Wars backlash ever since The Last Jedi and how there has been a great divide between fans. You know, it really was getting quite annoying when Bob Iger would just use the excuse that it was Star Wars fatigue. It was not Star Wars fatigue, it was actually just the fact that fans were very fed up with how Disney was actually handling some of its core characters. So Dave Filoni, I love this man, I think he's great, I think he knows his Star Wars lore, especially Legends content at its best, and it's one of the main reasons as to why, you know, some of the episodes in The Mandalorian Season 1 are so good. Dave Filoni is the guy to go to, and that's exactly what Disney and Lucasfilm are doing, in order to save elements of the character of Luke. So anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.